Also tonight, an Oklahoma County jail inmate allegedly sexually assaulted by a cellmate. And his mom's telling News 4 it took several calls to the jail from the outside to get him some medical help. And we want to warn you, as you can imagine, some of the details of this story are graphic. News 4's Jessica Bruno is live at the jail with the details. And I Jess, I know you spoke with officials and those who run the jail today. What did they have to say about the assault, the alleged assault? Yeah, Kevin, officials here at the jail tell me both the assault and how it was handled by employees are under investigation. As you can imagine, the inmate's mom tells me he's just traumatized by this. And she says in the days following the assault, his alleged attacker was still in the same pod and, and just kept allegedly taunting him. He woke up and his cellmate's private parts was in his mouth. This concerned mom contacting News 4 this week after her son was allegedly sexually assaulted inside his cell at the Oklahoma County Jail. He's so traumatized. I mean, he's screaming to the CO. And he claims no one came to help him. So she called jail administration. Telling him what had happened, he goes, well, you know, we can take a look at his little mouth if you wanted us to, you know, and kind of snickered on that. And she says he hung up on her, so she called right back. He says, ma'am, I already took your son to, to medical. I said, but you didn't because I've been talking to him. There's no way you could have took him to medical when I'm on the phone with him. To make matters worse, she says while her son's cellmate was removed from the cell, he was still in the pod days later. When you look out of the little window, you know, of your cell, you know, he could see the guy, and the guy's just taunting him. Officials at the jail telling News 4 the situation is under investigation. In this case, um, you know, we're uh, actively looking at all parties. What did the DOs do? What did the nurses do? Uh, you know, the, the suspect, is he talking to us? You'll remember a few weeks ago, a judge granted DA David Prater's request for a grand jury investigation into how the jail is being operated by the jail trust, which took over operations of the jail back in July of 2020. In a statement sent to News 4 last week, Prater said the culture under the trust has, quote, resulted in more deaths and maltreatment of inmates than I have ever seen. And in a new lengthy report by a jail consultant, he talks about changing the operational culture, saying the jail has too many employees assigned to job classifications that do not meet operational needs. That suggestion, one of 27. I'm just at wit's ends. Like, I, I'm losing sleep. I'm getting sick. I even passed out at my job because I was just so over overwhelmed because I don't know what, what to do. And Opgrand did tell me that the alleged suspect in this case was eventually moved out of that pod. Reporting live at the Oklahoma County Jail, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4.